Help! We have no architecture! Is what I often hear from condominium associations who are looking for new exterior paint color selections. What they really mean to say is, I'm afraid my building is plain and ugly and there's really nothing on it worth emphasizing with color. Good day. My name is Amanda Hart and I'm an architectural color consultant. Let's debunk that myth of having no architecture so we can later get to the real question, which is what colors and what placement of the colors will emphasize the most important areas of the building. I'm working today with Marine Colony Condominiums in Pompano Beach, Florida, but you can follow along and analyze your own building. First, let's observe the Marine Colony architecture. It's a two-story building with a mansard roof. You know a mansard roof. It's not unlike the style roofs you find on many fast food restaurants, such as Dairy Queen, Popeyes, and McDonald's, only minus the subliminal french fries. The roof stays the same exact height at Marine Colony. It never changes, even over the stairwells. It's the same level as the rest of the roof which creates a long horizontal line. The building is a long rectangular shape. The long horizontal lines of the roof, the building, the balconies, and the property boundary wall are all parallel to one another and to the street. However, there is depth. The building is set back from the street about 20 feet in layers. You've got the wall, then the ficus hedge, the fluffy trees, then the roof and balconies, and finally the glass sliding entry balcony doors. I'm going to take you back to geometry here. Marine Colony has these flat planes of brick, like perforated railings, allowing the air and light to filter into the walkways. If you look closely at the bricks, they're in a fractal pattern, which means the shape of one single brick is the same shape as the entire group of bricks. These bricks are laid together in such a way that they create a repeated pattern. This pattern has lots of holes and openings and creates visual texture. The brick pattern even produces visual light texture as the filtered light through the bricks cast a light pattern onto the walkways. Stay with me, this is all going to come together in the next three short videos and I promise you if if you do the groundwork now, in just a few minutes, you're going to have all the information you need to answer every single question you'll ever face regarding color selection. The brick itself has a certain shape, volume, and texture. It has a certain proportion. The brick shape, volume, and proportion are repeated in the walkway bump outs, and in the repetition of the bump outs as they progress down the building. The brick has a natural clay color to it. That color is not one flat color, but varied, with many different shades and tints of red-orange all the way through to the core. Even the white mortar grout, which is between the bricks, is varied in color. The roof tiles are the same way, with many variations of a red-orange color all the way through to the core. Once you see this rectangular brick pattern, it's easy to spot it everywhere in the architecture. It's in the individual window panes, as well as the overall shape of the window. It's on the beams, the end staircases, the planters, the columns, the center staircases, even the grill itself makes one big brick. Surprise! Marine Colony does have architecture. And how would I describe it? By looking for repetition, we find that Marine Colony is a two-story, plain, horizontal, long, wide, straight, low profile, linear rectangular building with natural brick and a similar cement tile mansard roof both in a clay color that adds texture and pattern to the building as well as speckled light. 
If you're watching this video to study the architecture of your own building, here's a list of design elements to look for. Art and design are not airy-fairy elusive. Every design or composition can be broken down into these parts and analyzed. I doubt I mentioned anything you didn't already know about your building. However, what you may not know is how these observations relate to what's important about your architecture. Which, by the way, just happens to be the next video. What's important about my building? <gasps> and now for the portion of the video that builds our design muscle with a fun pop quiz. Number one. Which body represents the bones of Marine Colony? Dolly Parton or No Name Runway Model? Runway Model, straight, long, and lean. Number two, which artist best represents the volumes repeated in the Marine Colony architecture? Picasso Cubism or Van Gogh Impressionism? Picasso Cubism with brick rectangles everywhere. And finally, number three, which architect style is most like Marine Colony? Jorn Utzon with the Sydney Opera House or Frank Lloyd Wright with Falling Waters? Frank Lloyd Wright, where the building is nestled into the land. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. Have a colorful day, my friends.